If you want to see love stories between rich boys and poor girls, you should definitely watch our picks for the best rich boy, poor girl movies. But I would feel like a king if you, Daniel de Barbavac, would be my wife. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Made in Manhattan, 2002. You want to hear something really strange? I invited you to lunch today and you came, only it wasn't you. <laughs> so, what happened? Made in Manhattan is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Wayne Wang and stars Jennifer Lopez, Ray Fiennes, and Natasha Richardson. Combining sad truths about the social class war with packing romance, Made in Manhattan follows a lower class maid raised in the New York boroughs. While working in a high dynasty hotel, company owner Christopher falls in love with her, thinking that she is a hotel guest. Soon their love is challenged when they find out they are worlds apart. Hop in, we'll give you a ride. We're going to the uh, Tremont housing project so we can drop you where, the uh, Upper East? Yeah, Mom. Yeah, no. Um, we're, remember, we're going to a party just a few blocks away, so uh, we'll walk. So how do I get a hold of you? Our sales 917. Earl. How about I, I, I call you? Number 9. All Good Things, 2010. I was going to make some coffee. Excuse me? Do you want coffee? I was going to make some. No, thank you. All Good Things is a mystery crime romantic drama film directed by Andrew Jarecki and stars Ryan Gosling, Kirsten Dunst, and Frank Langella. Exploring the painful nature of greed and lost passion, All Good Things finds two lovers planning a life together. But as he lives in the shadow of his father's real estate dynasty, his ego is pushed to the edge as he struggles to find his own footsteps. When he is offered to take part in his father's business, his former self vanishes, letting his relationship suffer. You smell good. You're gonna be late. So, I'm always late. You could always blame me. Number eight. Ever After, 1998. Came to rescue you. Rescue me? A commoner. Ever After is a romantic drama film directed by Andy Tennant and stars Drew Barrymore, Angelica Houston, Doug Ray Scott, and Jean Moreau. Updated, filled with fresh air, and crafted by smart minds only, Ever After is a reimagined take on the classic Cinderella story, but with the same lovely and heart-lifting core. Danielle is a vibrant young woman suffering under a stepmother, only caring for her siblings, and making her do all the housework. But when meeting a charming prince, everything might change. What? Live each day with this kind of passion. Don't you find it exhausting? Only when I'm around you. Why do you like to irritate me so? Why do you rise to the occasion? <laughs> <laughs> Number 7. Crazy Rich Asians, 2018. We've been dating for over a year now, and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. Come on. I'm Colin's best man. Don't you want to see where I grew up? Crazy Rich Asians is a 2018 romantic comedy film directed by John M. Chu and stars Constance Wu, Henry Golding, Gemma Chan, Aquafina, Ken Jeong, and Michelle Yeoh. In this unforgettable clash of cultures, we follow native New Yorker Rachel Chu, who was set on a hard quest when meeting her boyfriend Nick's family in his hometown of Singapore. Excited about visiting Asia for the first time, she is surprised to discover that his family is amongst the richest in the country, and Nick is considered the most eligible bachelor in Asia. When we first met, you had no idea who I was, who my family were. You didn't care. Yeah, I don't care about that stupid stuff. Well, exactly. You are so different from all of the women that I grew up with. Number six, Cinderella, 2015. Will you take me as I am? An honest country girl who loves you. Of course I will. Cinderella is a romantic fantasy film directed by Kenneth Branagh and stars Kate Blanchett, Lily James, Richard Madden, and Stellan Skarsgård. While hard to believe, yet undeniably true, Cinderella is a Disney live-action remake that enchants viewers with the original charm and uplifting energy that became the company's trademark. 
Carrying the burden of a dead father, young and beautiful Ella suffers from the injustice of her stepmother and her beasts of daughters. But everything will change in a fabulous ball she hopes to visit. We must simply have courage and be kind, mustn't we? Yes. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. Number five. Pretty Woman, 1990. You didn't wake me. I can see you're really busy. I'm going to be out of here in just a minute. No, there's no hurry. Are you hungry? You must be. Why don't you sit and have something to eat? Pretty Woman is a romantic comedy film directed by Gary Marshall and stars Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. This is, in its very own way, a modern Cinderella story that explores the unlikely relationship between a wealthy but lonely businessman and a prostitute. Hired to stay with him for the weekend, the two soon noticed that there could be more between them than just a business relationship. But how could they ever overcome the gap between their very different worlds? A billion dollars? Yes. Wow. You must be really smart, huh? <laughs> I only got through 11th grade. How far did you go in school? I went all the way. Your folks must be really proud, huh? Number four, Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005. What do you think? A geisha is free to love? Never. Bolt the gate! Memoirs of a Geisha is an epic drama film directed by Rob Marshall and stars Zhang Zai, Ken Watanabe, Michelle Yeoh, and Koji Yakusho. This tale of heartbreaking loss and a journey of belonging follows nine-year-old Chio, who gets sold to a geisha house where she is trained for decades to become the perfect servant for nothing in regard. But after finally becoming what everyone always wanted her to be, her gained peace is at the brink of collapse because World War II is about to... Number three. Three Wishes for Cinderella, 1973. <laughs> To u nás dokáže malá holka. Three Wishes for Cinderella is a 1973 Czechoslovak Eastern German fairy tale film directed by Václav Vorlacek. The story retells the classic Cinderella fairy tale and follows Popelka, an independent young girl who is a servant in the house of her stepmother. When she comes across three magical acorns, she is granted a single wish for each one of them. The movie had its international premiere in East Berlin in 1973 and is, until today, a popular Christmas holiday movie in many European countries. Number 2. The Sound of Music, 1965. Your face is all red, is it? I don't suppose I'm used to dancing. The Sound of Music is a 1965 musical drama film directed by Robert Wise and stars Julie Andrews, Christopher Plummer, Richard Hayden, and Eleanor Parker. Maria, a clumsy but free-spirited orphan, is training to be a nun at the Nonberg Abbey. Because of her love for the mountains and singing, she often misses sermon, which the other nuns mistake as negligence. When the mother abbess sends Maria to the abbey to care for a retired officer and his seven children, Maria slowly realizes her true destiny. Do you mean to tell me that my children have been roaming about Salzburg dressed up in nothing but some old drapes? Mm -hmm. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, your company is involved primarily in the telecommunications sector, yet you also invest in numerous agricultural projects, including several in Africa. Is that something that you feel passionate about? Feeding the world's poor? It's smart business. I often wonder what they come of her. I expect now she entertains gentlemen all hours of the day. <laughs> Bradshaw. Yes, Mr. Paul. Save your breath to cool your porridge. Yes, Mr. Paul. Who's this? No. Okay, so... When I get there, what do I talk to him about? You saw him and you know me, and you know how I tend to run on when I get nervous, and I know I'm gonna be nervous in a place like that. Don't... Amanda, thanks. Be yourself. Number one. Pride and Prejudice, 2005. But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Fairly tolerable, I dare say. 
not handsome enough to tempt me. Pride and Prejudice is a 2005 period romance film directed by Joe Wright and based on Jane Austen's 1813 novel of the same name. Starring Keira Knightley and Matthew McFadden, this tale of love and values unfolds in the class-conscious England of the late 18th century. The five Bennett sisters, including strong-willed Elizabeth, have been raised by their mother with one purpose in life, finding a husband. As the wealthy bachelor Mr. Bingley and his friend Mr. Darcy arrive in the neighborhood, the lives of the five daughters are turned upside down. And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.